Chapter 143 Killing the Wolf Emperor Gu Yi sneaked a glance at Nye Tian and suddenly felt that the young man in front of him was like a mystery. The more he tried to see clearly, the more he couldn't see clearly. This kid has too many tricks. Fortunately, my old man is wise and did not become his enemy. Gu Yi smiled inwardly and praised himself secretly. However, when Nye Tian and Gu Yi were happily enjoying the bloody battle in the valley, a black figure slowly approached them. Thousands of meters away, a huge black figure sprinted silently in the night, like a ghost, blending into the night. This figure was running toward the direction of the valley, and it was coming toward Nye Tian. In the blink of an eye, the galloping figure was less than a hundred meters away from Nye Tian and Gu Yi. But the figure stopped suddenly at this moment, its huge body was hidden in the tall bushes, and it began to approach Nye Tian and the others secretly step by step. When it was less than 20 meters away from Nye Tian, the latter finally sensed the danger. Murdering Intent Almost instantly, Nye Tian suddenly felt a cold killing intent coming from behind, and his expression changed immediately. Ah! The next moment, the shrill howl of a wolf pierced the silence of the night sky, and a five-meter-high silhouette struck like lightning in the air, its two front paws seemed to be made of steel, glowing under the moonlight. It was so cold that it made people shudder. Damn it! Gu Yi turned his head abruptly, seeing the giant claw stabbing toward him, his voice shrieked in fright. In a critical moment, Nye Tian calmly stabbed Jin Ju Tian John, and the sword blow diffused, illuminating half of the night sky. Dang! Jin Ju Tian stabbed the giant wolf's steel claws, and there was a sound of metal and stone colliding. Nye Tian felt a huge force coming from his arm, which almost knocked his long sword out of his hand. Withdrawing back, Nye Tian rolled on the ground, very embarrassed, but escaped the fatal blow of the giant wolf. Gu Yi gave shock, but fortunately, Nye Tian reacted quickly enough, otherwise, the two of them would have lost their skins if they didn't die. At this time, the two had a chance to take a good look at the creature that attacked them. This is a giant wolf, more than five meters long, with black and shiny hair, a triangular head like an iron vertebra, and two fangs exposed outside the giant mouth, giving people a full threat. Nima, this is the real King Wolverine. Nye Tian swallowed and cursed angrily. The spirit beast in front of him is none other than King Wolverine. Wolverine is a third-order spirit beast, and Wolverine Emperor's strength is close to that of a fourth-order spirit beast, possessing combat power comparable to that of a ninth-level warrior in Vientiane. Stinky boy, it must be your wolf howl that attracted the wolf king. Gu Yi gave Nye Tian an angry look and said angrily, That's right, the wolf emperor was attracted by Nye Tian's wolf howl just now. Woo! The wolf emperor bared his fangs, drooled, and let out a low growl, staring at Nye Tian with red eyes, as if to say, Did you pretend to be the Wolf Emperor just now? King Wolverine's spiritual intelligence is very high, otherwise, he wouldn't have sneaked up on Nye Tian just now. It knew that the person posing as itself just now was Nye Tian, so it locked him as the first target to kill. Gu Yi was keenly aware that the Wolf Emperor seemed not interested in him, so he couldn't help but smiled and said, Boing Ye. Yeah. You caused the trouble, you can handle it yourself. Don't worry, Gu Yi can just watch from the sidelines. Nye Tian smiled lightly. It was time to let Gu Yi know his true combat power. Little wolf cub, do you think that you are afraid of yourself because of your size? Nye Tian smiled. His body energy was in full swing, and Jin Ju Tian Zhan shot out a dazzling sword blow. Sensing a hint of threat, the wolf emperor took a step back subconsciously. Sword pours into the night. In just a split second, Nye Tian raised his hand to attack, and a five-meter-long sword glow suddenly blasted out, forcing the Wolf Emperor to retreat again and again. It's Nye Tian. There was a scream in the valley, and Shang Mingyu sensed a familiar sword energy. When he looked up, he happened to see Nye Tian and the Wolf King fighting. At this time, the valley was already stained red with blood, the corpses of a dozen wolverines were lying on the ground, and the remaining dozen wolverines had already been killed red-eyed. Qin Hongtian, Shang Mingyu, and Qin Yulong were also wounded, and in a state of distress, 
but La and Benji, protected by the three of them in the center, was still unscathed. It is Nye Tien. This valley is a trap he set for us. Lan Benji looked up and saw Nye Tien, and immediately understood, her teeth were about to be crushed, and her ferocious face was almost insane. Chin Hontian and Chin Yulong were so busy dealing with Wolverine that they didn't even have time to take a look. Nye Tien sneaked in from his busy schedule and laughed loudly, Lan Benji, since you have chased me all this way, how can I not give you a little gift, otherwise I will lose the way of hospitality. Ha ha. In the silent night sky, Nye Tien's wild laughter seemed so piercing and maddening. Lan Benji's face was gloomy, the veins on his handsome face were bulging, and his whole body was like a ball of fire, ready to burn if touched. Nye Tien, if this prince doesn't kill you, I swear I won't be a human being. Lan Benji roared up to the sky, and his hoarse voice rolled out, showing how angry he was. Gu Yid listened to both of them's words, he couldn't help being taken aback, and asked, The kid in the valley knows the Blue Cloud Royal family, right? Nye Tien laughed maniacally while dealing with Wolverine King, What kind of bullshit royal family, it's just a mad dog eager to die. Nye Tien has never put Lan Yun, the royal family, in his eyes, let alone Lan Benji. Even if Lan Benji didn't come to him, he would look for him. Ever since Lan Benji attacked Nye Euro, he was doomed to be a dead person. Gui could only smile speechlessly at Nye Tien's words. He is the pinnacle alchemist in the world of Little Sumeru, so he naturally wouldn't pay attention to a small character like Lan Benji. There is no difference. Roar. Seeing that Nye Tien was still busy talking nonsense when he was fighting with him, the Wolf Emperor couldn't help being furious. With a roar, his huge steel claws flew across the air, and several fierce attacks struck Nye Tien's neck. God of War Tianzhan Nye Tien chuckled, advancing instead of retreating and stabbing fiercely with his sword. O.M. In an instant, the ten primordial veins were running to the extreme, and the primordial force plus the power of the stars poured into the sword continuously, causing Jin Judianzen to let out an intense sword chant. Jin Ju Tian Zhan released a gorgeous sword light, and the fierce sword energy permeated wildly. Wherever the sword glow passed, the air was dense, as if a hot wave was flowing. Sensing the lingering sword energy, the wolf emperor didn't dare to confront Ye Tian head on. The moment he touched the heat wave, he retreated subconsciously. Whoosh! At this moment, a figure suddenly jumped out from Ye Tian's shoulders, jumping on the wolf king's huge head. The little Pichio jumped on the head of the Wolf Emperor and suddenly grabbed it hard with his fleshy little claws and even pierced through the head of the Wolf Emperor. Kaka kaka. In the next instant, a thin layer of ice crystals formed on the Wolf Emperor's body and his retreating body suddenly stopped. It was only a momentary pause, but Nye Tien had seized the perfect timing. The long sword flew into the air and the Wolf Emperor's neck was slashed by Jin Jiu Etian, and he fell without even having time to snort. 